When I left Canada, the innovation scene was not what it is today. Nowadays, there's tons of support in Canada. So there are fantastic VC firms. Um, there are various innovation programs. Yeah. When Ambassador Kirsten Hillman yeah. has done little round tables with various yeah. tech entrepreneurs, it's evolved my understanding of how Canada seeks to learn from its expats, which I think is very unique. I think right. that's a very smart way to, to gain insight into what we can learn from the communities that are outside our borders and sort of bring back to Canada. I think that if one views themselves as a global citizen, which in many ways Canada prepares you for, we need to make sure that the future that we're creating is one that we're proud to create. One that serves our children, um, that isn't biased against women, people of color, LGBTQIA communities, people with disabilities. There are huge issues with equality and diversity that exist in AI. A voice assistant, eight out of 10 times recognizes a white male voice, five out of 10 times a black male voice, and three out of 10 times a black female voice. We started off as a consumer insights company, but we have evolved because we've realized that we had the unique opportunity to be able to supply data sets that train machine learning and artificial intelligence models, but specifically due to our diverse audience that we have access to, we can make sure that they're diverse. Going to the place where I can have the most reach and where I think I can affect the most change uh, has always been really important to me, and that's why I chose New York. And we are getting the reach that we need, reaching those tech titans, reaching the big companies who also understand that it's a priority to be inclusive. So you've got finance, you've got law, you know, you've got marketing and advertising, you've got the creative industries, and AI is going to permeate all of these spaces. We want to make sure that we're there to help lead the charge in creating fair and diverse AI. Being raised in Canada, it prepared me for being in a world of technology by doing the reverse. My parents were kind of hippie. My mom, you know, was like, no, no TV and movies. Growing up in that way made me appreciate the things that are not driven by technology, not kind of created by a city. It's almost like peace in amongst chaos. It taught me how to be myself and helped me identify who I was so that I could bring that to New York. People are willing to help here. They'll be like, oh, you're in tech? That's great. Do you need introductions? Do you need to meet VCs? You should come to my event. Anyone can experience that. So if you really want to be an entrepreneur and you want to make it here, you can definitely just show up and do it. I believe that there are two fundamental truths that one must consider when building products for the consumer population, which is we all want to be heard and we all want to be entertained. Honestly, when I go on social media, it's for one of those two reasons. What I like about Canada is Canada still has the same values and it still represents the things that I cherish so much. And I love that when I go back to Canada, I can always count on that.